mass that we just created from that auto trace and copy them to our Iron Man. So let's go ahead and go to the Iron Man layer. All right, this is your main layer here. We got to duplicate this one. So Control D or just Edit and duplicate, just so we have one Iron Man full and one with the outline. Okay, here's the one we're going to use the outline on. So we're going to go to the auto trace and we're going to click on the mask and we're going to go to edit and copy so we just copied those masks we're going to go down to our top our duplicated Iron Man and we're just going to paste it in there go to edit and paste okay so now if we unselect the uh, main Iron Man we should have there we go a, a colored outline of the Iron Man basically we just cut Iron Man into an outline Okay, so now we'll go to our solid so we can see that better. Alright, so we got that. Now, we can go ahead and get rid of the white auto trace outline thing that we made. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so now we have our Iron Man that's cut out. Now this is the one we want to add an echo to. So let's go ahead and add an echo to that. And we'll boost it up. You know, it's going to be you know, as long as you want little slow on my computer with the cam program going but you know, I'll try to get up there to a nice long trail if possible set this to 95 or so let's go at minimum maximum alright let me turn on my grunge texture so we can see that and let's turn Iron Man back on now Iron Man actual solid Iron Man has to go on the top. It has to go in front, of course, of the outline. So there's our outline back there. Okay, let me set that outline to an add layer so we can see it better. And now you see we have basically the same deal. Let me try to get up. This runs so slow with the cam program going, but, you know, here we go. I'm just trying to get up nice and close so we can see it. Okay, catch up, catch up, catch up. Just too many echoes. Let me cut my echoes down to tad. Turn and boost this back up. Just so you can actually see all the echoes we got in there. See, we can make them as long as we, as long as your computer can handle. Go all the way down. You know, I got 166 echoes in there right now. And, you know, you can try the different uh, ways of doing it, of course. That one don't look very good. That one's not very good. We'll stick with add on that. And let's just try an overlay. See how that looks. That don't look very good, I don't think. Try an add on this one. No, add. We'll just leave it. Um, well, let's try overlay again. Try maximum. Nope. All right, we'll leave it as add, and we'll go to normal. Just leave it as normal. Uh, that's basically, uh, you know, how you fake how you fake the uh, look of that to where you know you get you can actually create a nice long uh, echo outline. What I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, pause this and so I can preview it for you so you can see it. So I'll just pause it real quick. Alright, uh, let me go ahead and preview this just to get an idea. See, and you'll have your long echoes going. And it all depends on, you know, the angle and how you move your body, you know, you can see this one arm I got moving kind of fast, so see how it gets more of a flowing look, so it depends on, like, Clark was going the punch, and actually moving his punch arm, y you know, much quicker, so it all depends, you know, on how you, you gotta, like, get the motions in there, your body motions in there, to really make the echoes twist and turn, and that, you know, it all depends on how you do all that stuff. As you can see, that one arm is really rotating at the end there, and it kind of flows around them, so it gives a much better flow. So, you know, it, it's just going to really depend. But, you know, we went from hardly any echoes to this just by, you know, faking the shot, faking and making it look like a longer jump. 
and slightly making it come from the right to the left. That's the important thing about the echoes, to make it go from left to right or right to left. Somehow make it go side to side, just with that slight angle, uh, that's where you get the long echoes from, when it goes left to right, or you know, if you don't want to go full right, then do what I did, and just bring it, you know, make it look like it's going that way by scaling it into the distance, and then coming forward like that. So, you know, and what I did for my echoes, I made it a little bit more like the, that bizarro scene where it was a li little bit farther apart, the echoes. I just took my echoes and put it to, you know, change the slider down from the default echo time per seconds. This will give you farther echoes. So that's, that's what I did for that one. Let me just give you an example there. So I just, I didn't want close echoes. Because, you know, this way you can get farther, uh, farther results if you wanted farther results uh, and use less echoes too because you know the closer the echoes are the more echoes you need to use to make a longer line so uh, you know it does help to have less echoes just uh, speed up computer time obviously uh, let me turn my grunge texture back on So I can get back to where I was. Set that to add again. So we can see it. Got my grunge on. Got it set to add. Tweak it up a little bit. Like that. Set this one to overlay. See how that looks now. Normal. Norm Normal is definitely the best way to go. Alright. So that's good. Um, that basically shows you how to get how to get your echoes right. Let me set that to add because I, I kind of want you to see it. Um, there we go. See now you can kind of see it. So let me go ahead and I'll uh, just quickly preview that one with the new settings and the grunge in the back. Should have did that to begin with. Sorry, I tweaked it and I forgot to turn my grunge setting back on. All right, uh, should be back. Let me make sure I'm back here. Oops, wrong one. Okay, I think I'm back. I don't know. Yep, uh, it's recording. Yes, it is. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and preview that one, just so you can see. Hopefully, you can see it through the video. See, basically, it's coming from the behind. You know, it resembles the scene, obviously not perfectly because of the motion that Clark does and everything. But, you know, if you get the twists in there, this t basically tells you the basics on how to, you know, get the thing set up. It all re really relies on you for that specific scene. Your motions as you jump, and then you can, uh, you know, bring it into After Effects to fake the jump to make it look longer and more to the side so you get a better echo and... You know, once you do all that, you know, just it's going to heavily rely on basically your motion. And the green screen's definitely really needed for stuff like this to get the really good uh, long effects like this. You know, it looks pretty cool. You know, with Iron Man, anyways. You know, it's basic, you know, uh, run trail echo deal. So it's not like super anything special. But, of course, you can make it special when you add, like, your displacement, if you add that glow to it and all that stuff. So, you know, that's just, that's kind of one way to do it. There is, you know, so here, I'll just speed it up for you. Yeah. That looks pretty neat. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and pause this and try something real quick. All right. I just wanted to, what I did was I added a simple choker after the echo and minus three just to make the outlines thicker so you can actually see them so that's that's a choice that you could do if you do a auto trace on it and your lines are a little bit too thin you want a thicker lines you can go ahead and add a simple choker after your echo and it'll create thicker lines for you so that basically should